Hi there, my name is Drew with ClickFunnels Education. I hope you're having a great day today. In today's video, we're going to talk about uploading assets to the My Assets section of your settings in your account. To begin with, click on the Settings tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Then, when you are in the uh, Settings area, click on the My Assets tab on the left-hand side in the new pop-up window that will appear. You'll now see, as in a previous video regarding the My Assets section, the Images, Videos, Downloads, Audio, and Fonts tabs. We're going to go in more depth and more detail into how to upload each of these images and what restrictions there may be about uploading different image types and sizes. For instance, when uploading an image, you can drag and drop files from an, a folder that is open on your computer, or you can click Browse Files to navigate your computer's infrastructure to find the files that you're looking to upload. You can select a folder to put this file into, give it a descriptive image name, and write a brief description of the image in the image alt attribute to help with visually impaired customers to assist customers with slow internet to, uh, to upload or to download the image more quickly and to improve search engine optimization by using keywords that describe the image. Importantly, when you're uploading an image, the image files can only be of the JPEG, PNG, SVG, GIF, WebP, or ICO type images. Images can be up to, but not above, 10 megabytes in size. If you try to use a different format of image, or images of a larger size, you will not be able to successfully upload this image. In the Videos section, when uploading a video, your options are uh, somewhat more straightforward. Give a descriptive name to the video, and drag and drop it from a file folder, or browse files to find it in your computer. Importantly, a course video can be up to 3,000 megabytes in size, although a, a, a video of that size may take some time to load. The larger a, an asset is that appears on one of your ClickFunnels pages, the longer it will take to load, which may discourage some viewers. Let's go back. Downloads can be of any file type and should be sized appropriately to that file type in your account. So for instance, an image can still only be up to 10 megabytes, a course video can still only be up to 3000 megabytes, and so on. In the audio tab, we'll click upload audio, choose a name and upload the file as you would a video file. Importantly, the max size on any audio file is 1000 megabytes. And of course, we are going to click discard because we don't have a file we wish to upload, but if you did, you would click create audio. Finally, in fonts, clicking upload font, you would simply choose a name for your uh, font, something that you will remember in an editor later. Once it's set, you won't be able to change it, so choose something descriptive. Then upload a file. A file megabyte can be up to one megabyte in size and must be of the TTF, OTF, WOFF, or WOFF2 file type. Trying to upload a file that is over one megabyte, or which is not a member of one of those file types, will lead to the file not successfully uploading. We're going to click discard now, but if you are uploading a font file, click create font. Thanks for the slightly more in-depth uh, in uh, look into what two types of files can be uploaded, the sizes of those files, and how to upload those files in the appropriate area in your ClickFunnels My Assets account. You can also upload files directly into these galleries by going into the page in question. So, for instance, in this case, we'll go to one of the ClickFunnels courses. We're now in the web editor. If we added an image file, we could upload an, uh, an image directly into this account by going to the image URL and clicking the gallery button, then clicking upload images. 
This would also cause the new image asset to appear in the My Assets section of your account. You can do this with a number of different upload file types, although some file types, such as fonts, do need to be uploaded as a digital asset. We're not going to change this uh, as this was simply for demonstration purposes, but of course, anytime you're making a change in the editor, don't forget to hit click, uh, save in the top right corner of your screen. That's all we have for today. If you have any further questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help however we can, and our excellent technical support team is happy to answer any questions that you may have. You can also check out more Academy documents and videos for further information about different parts of your ClickFunnels account. We hope that you found this helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.